Good evening there, Daniel. It's Kerry here from Pacific to Art Alexis Cairns. So what I would like to do for you today is a high definition virtue tour of our 2017 Holden Colorado LS 4x4 drop side tray. So before I get into the vehicle itself, I just want to show you a little bit more about the dealership here. So basically we are one of two owned pre-owned dealerships here. One on 77 Mulgrave Road, that's actually us here. And the other one is actually at 235 Mulgrave Road. It's basically on the left hand side south of us of Cairns. Next to that is our new car department as well too. And service and Lexus as well too and parts department. We also actually own Coral Motors as one of our main reconditioning uh, mechanic shop also opposite lock as well too. So what I would like to do for you today is basically go around the vehicle uh, also and show you a little bit more about the dealership. So as you can see, that's a heart of Cairns. Uh, it's about 1.5 kilometers in the city. And also just up there, that gray building is our two sh our showroom. So it's two story. And we basically have not just our normal Toyota brands that we normally sell here, we also have other brands like the Mazdas, uh, Izizu, uh, Nissans, also Mazdas as well too, Holden Colorados, Ford Rangers, Nissan Navaras, and also etc. as in your small vehicles, as in your Yaris's, all the way down up to your, your Ab Falls, up to Kalugas as well too. So just going to show you a little bit more about the dealership here. Dealership's been around for more than 40 years plus. Also, I actually have been working here at the dealership for the last two years. Okay, Daniel, so I'm going to have enough of that talking for you. Um, basically, I just want to get straight into it and uh, give you a look at the vehicle that you're inquiring on. So, as I'm saying, the 2017 Holden Colorado 4x4 drop side tray cab chassis. So I'm just gonna go down to the front bar of the vehicle right now, just to make sure I point out if there's any bad perfections in that bar as well too. So as you can see, it's got the Holden genuine bull bar on that. Fantastic, that looks pretty good. Uh, also, just wanna make sure if I can point out if there's any bad perfections in the paint or any stone chips on the bonnet or any chips in the windscreen, I also wanna point them out to you as well too. So. Let's get straight down to the bonnet. As you can see that the sun is reflecting into that uh, bonnet. That there is actually just a little bit of dirtiness that's on the bonnet as well too, but there's no chips at all. So it looks actually in pretty good condition. Just go across that top of the bonnet again. Just up onto that windscreen right now, Daniel. Fantastic, that looks really good. There's no chips in the windscreen. Okay, just stepping back right now, just having a look down the uh, passenger side of the vehicle, just in that paint. That paint's in pretty fantastic condition. Fantastic, I'll just make my way down and give you a look on the angle there as well. Fantastic, that looks really good. Up onto the uh, roof as well, just make my way up on top of the roof, just make sure there is no hail damage or any dents or any bad perfections in the top of the roof as well too there, Daniel. Fantastic, that looks really good. It's in really good condition. Just onto the uh, side mirror, as you can see, there's no markings on that, so that looks in pretty good condition. Okay, uh, just having a look inside the uh, passenger door. Make sure there is no markings on the door trims. I mean, being a second-hand vehicle, there's probably gonna be a couple here and there. But on the kick panel, on the floor, then make my way up onto the dash there, Daniel. Across the driver's side. I'll get back to the uh, owner's manual and the logbooks for you and go through that service history as I already spoke to you on the phone. Just looking in the uh, rear door now. That trim is actually in pretty good condition. There is a couple of little scuff marks here and up there as well too. Daniel that I've seen on the back of that seat is in really good condition. Just having a look on the back seat itself. A couple of little stain marks there, but something that I can do to fix it as well too. All right, so I'm just gonna set my way back looking at the tray itself. Like I said, the tray has got a little couple of scuff marks inside of it. But as in any other tray, they're going to be used. 
Um, just down around the uh, wheel arch, up through the chassis. Onto the back of that part as well too. It is pretty tight and squashy because we do hold up about nearly 200 cars in stock at all times as well too, Daniel. So we are probably one of the largest franchise dealerships in North Queensland. Okay, just down onto that seal. All right, round to the front wheel arch. Fantastic, those tyres will look really good condition. So got plenty of tread on those tyres. Okay, just over here now. So just working my way onto the uh, driver's side now, just looking down that panel. Fantastic, that looks pretty good. That paint's in really good condition. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm just gonna make my way up onto the roof there, Daniel. That looks really good down on that panel. Just make sure there's no any markings on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up the, uh, before I go to the doors, just gonna go through the uh, back of the chassis as well too. Fantastic, Daniel, that looks good. Up onto that back tire, so it's got plenty of uh, tread on those tires. All right, so I'm just gonna open up the rear door now on the driver's side. Couple little markings here, but that's pretty good. Onto the kick panel, up onto the back of the seat. Fantastic, looks good. All right, so before I go and open up the driver's side door right now, yeah, I just want to mention that it actually has two remote keys. Fantastic, that will be coming with a vehicle. One little marking there. Other one's got a little bit of a bird pop on it. Okay, so looking in the driver's side now. The panel on the driver's side looks pretty good. A couple of little scuff marks here, that's with boots going in and out. But otherwise it's pretty good onto that floor. Up onto the dash there. Then back over on the uh, passenger seat. And then onto the uh, driver's side seat there as well too. All right, Daniel, I'm just gonna put the keys in right now. Ready to start it up, I'm just gonna pop it down here. Before I go away from the steering wheel there, Daniel, I just want to go around the steering wheel just to see if there is any major wear and tear on the steering wheel itself. A couple of little markings I can see there, but otherwise it's in really good condition. Um, you've got your volume controls on there, your Bluetooth as well too, and your voice recognition. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control as well too. So, okay, so just looking over on the audio sound system. So as you can see that you've got your home button, your stereo, Turn the volume up on that side as well. You got your air conditionings as well too. And then also before I go over the audio sound system, I just want to mention that um, it's got all your Bluetooth area as well too. Okay, just working my way down. I just found out that it actually has got um, electric brakes fitted to it as well too. So there you go. Something that you don't have to worry about putting in. Daniel, you've got your four drive, two high, four low, and four low low. Um, and then you've got your cup holders there as well too. In your center console part. In there is your USB and uh, AUX plug. Fantastic. Okay, so just going to wake up onto the uh, dash again and just go across that really nice and slow. Just give me a look how clean and tidy that is. Fantastic. All right, so you've got your logbooks here, your owner's manual, your service history there as well too. Like I said, um, Daniel, all the service history is actually all in there. Basically going through that there with you. Vehicle is originally from Ennisvale. Fantastic. 
And then we actually done the last service up there as well too, as you can see that I'm putting up onto the uh, windscreen. Coral Motors, like I mentioned earlier before. Fantastic. All right, just over onto the uh, driver's side door trim, just having a look at the electric mirrors and your windows as well too. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna go into the uh, engine bay. So let's have a look underneath the engine bay and through the motor wise there, Daniel. So it's going to give you a really good look. I know it's just an engine, but you definitely want to have a really good indication of what it looks like underneath there. Fantastic. It's nice and clean as well, too. Awesome. All right, Daniel, that is actually has come to the end of the video right now. I would like to say thank you very much for your inquiry. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call. I will send this by email as you requested. Thank you.